Hi everyone and welcome to Learner Radiology. Today, Dr. Bailey is gonna be walking through us a few of the basics of oral cavity cancer staging, talk a little bit about which subsites are involved, and then she's gonna walk us through three quick cases. So hopefully you can learn a little bit about how oral cavity cancers are staged. Hi everybody, this is Dr. Katie Bailey and today I'm coming at you with oral cavity cancer staging. So a brief review of the CT anatomy of the oral cavity. The contents are the teeth, the hard palate, the soft palate, there's the uvula, the gingiva, which is along the surface of the bone, the retromolar trigone, which is that nice space between the mandible and the maxilla pointing posteriorly, the buccal mucosa, and the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. And remember the retromolar trigone? It's that crossroads of the oropharynx, nasopharynx, buccinator, floor of mouth, and pharyngeal space. So in that space, it's just some nice mucosa, some vessels, and a good place for spread of infection or tumor. You can get referred otalgia in the ipsilateral ear from oral cavity cancer due to innervation by branches of cranial nerve 9. So a patient that presents with persistent ear pain definitely check the retromolar trigone as well. And in this space, you're right next to the cortex of the mandible. So any mass in this area, always look for invasion of the mandible, specifically erosion of the mandibular cortex. Here's the newest AJCC oral cavity cancer staging. This one is based on size of the tumor from less than two centimeters to greater than four centimeters, but it also includes a pathologic staging, which is less than or equal to five millimeters depth of invasion on pathology. So at our tumor board, we always have pathology present and we can use depth of invasion or of that oral cavity cancer to include in the staging. Now the highest grade tumor invades into the masticator space, the pterygoid plates or the skull base, and or encases the internal carotid artery within that carotid space. And this is for non-HPV, non-EBV squamous cell cancers. So example one, you can see if you change the windows, there is a hyperdense mass involving the oral tongue. So here's normal muscle, which is a little bit lower density than the mass. It measures greater than two centimeters, but less than four millimeters. There are ipsilateral lymph nodes. You can see this one is even partially necrotic in the center, but they measure less than three centimeters. And on this next CT, distant mets are not assessed. So here's that cancer. You can see the difference in density between the tongue itself as well as the cancer. And here's another necrotic node. So this one would be a T2N2MX. Example two is more subtle. If you window down the images, you can see here's the normal muscle of the tongue, which is slightly hypodense compared to other muscle. But here along the lateral aspect of the oral tongue, you can see an area that's hyperdense adjacent to the muscle. And even with artifact from dental hardware, which most people have some degree of dental amalgam or dental hardware, you can see that line delineating the area of hyperdensity along the lateral aspect of the oral tongue. On the coronal image, you can see the subtle hyperdensity, the lateral aspect of the oral tongue. So this lesion measured less than two centimeters involving the lateral tongue. There were no abnormal lymph nodes on this neck CT and distant METs were not assessed. So using our AJCC staging, this would be a T1N0MX. Next case, we have a more subtle tumor. You can see this soft tissue with absence of the hard palate. You can see cortical irregularity where the bone is still there, but it's being eroded by this aggressive process. On the sagittal view, you can see absence of the hard palate anteriorly. And on the bone windows, you can see absence of the hard palate anteriorly. So this mass invades the cortical bone of the hard palate. On these images, there is no lymphadenopathy and distant mets were not assessed. So this would stage as a T4 N0 MX due to invasion of the hard palate. So thanks to everyone for tuning in to this video on oral cavity cancer staging. We've got some other videos on staging of 
head and neck malignancies at the other subsites, which are going to be coming up soon. So be sure to check back in uh, and watch those videos. Thanks for tuning in today.